Have you ever wondered what animals we've lost in the 21st century? It's a thought-provoking question that dips into the heart of animal extinction, a pressing issue of our times. The 21st century, a time of rapid technological advancement, has also been a time of loss, a loss of species that once graced our planet. Understanding this issue is crucial, as it shapes our relationship with the natural world. Join us as we journey through the 21st century, discovering the animals we've lost along the way. Our journey begins in the early 2000s, a time of significant ecological change. Back then, two notable species vanished from the face of the earth, the Pyrenean ibex and the Spix's macaw. Both species were unique, each carrying a distinct piece of the world's biodiversity puzzle. Their loss was a profound blow to our global ecosystem. First, let's consider the Pyrenean ibex. This majestic creature, native to the Pyrenees Mountains between Spain and France, was the first species to become extinct in the 21st century. Its extinction was largely due to uncontrolled hunting and habitat loss. The last known Pyrenean ibex, a female named Celia, passed away in January 2000. With her, the species' rich genetic lineage that had persisted for thousands of years was lost. Next, we turn our attention to the vibrant Spix's macaw. Known for their striking blue feathers, these parrots once thrived in the Brazilian wilderness. Unfortunately, by the early 21st century, deforestation and the illegal pet trade had decimated their numbers. The last known wild Spix's macaw disappeared in the year 2000, marking the species' extinction in the wild. But what exactly does the loss of these species mean for us and our planet? On the surface it might seem like just two species among millions. However, each extinction chips away at the planet's biodiversity. Biodiversity is what allows ecosystems to respond to changes and challenges, from climate change to disease outbreaks. The loss of the Pyrenean ibex and the Spix's macaw meant the loss of their unique roles in their respective ecosystems. The ibex, for instance, was a vital link in the food chain, grazing on vegetation and providing food for predators. The Spix's macaw, on the other hand, played a crucial role in seed dispersal, helping to maintain the health and vitality of their forest home. These early extinctions marked a worrying trend for the new century. They were stark reminders of how our actions from deforestation to unregulated hunting can have catastrophic effects on the world's wildlife. As we move forward, it's crucial that we learn from these losses and strive to protect the remaining species that call our planet home. As we move into the heart of the 21st century, the situation doesn't improve. Our journey takes us now to the mid-2000s, a time that witnessed the tragic disappearance of some unique species. Among these were the Baiji River Dolphin and the Western Black Rhinoceros. The stories of their extinction showcase the complex interplay between human activity and the natural world. The Baiji River Dolphin, also known as the Goddess of the Yangtze, was a freshwater dolphin that once graced the waters of China's Yangtze River. With a lineage dating back 20 million years, it was one of the world's oldest dolphin species. However, the rapid industrialization of China during the 20th and 21st centuries led to a dramatic increase in river traffic, pollution, and overfishing. By the year 2006, the Baiji River Dolphin was declared functionally extinct, leaving the Yangtze and the world poorer in its wake. Similarly, the western black rhinoceros native to Central Africa fell silent in the mid-2000s. Famed for its double horn and expressive eyes, this majestic creature was a victim of rampant poaching driven by the high demand for rhino horn in traditional medicine. Despite international efforts to save the species, the western black rhinoceros was declared extinct in 2011, marking a devastating loss in global biodiversity. The extinction of these species is not just about the loss of unique creatures, it signifies a disruption in the intricate web of life. Each species plays a unique role in its ecosystem, and their disappearance can trigger a domino effect, impacting other species and the overall health of the ecosystem. The mid-2000s, marked by these extinctions, became a turning point in humanity's relationship with the natural world. It was a wake-up call, a stark reminder of the consequences of our actions and the urgent need for change. The mid-century marked a critical point in our relationship with the natural world. In the most recent years, the loss of biodiversity has continued. It's a chilling reality, but one that we must face head-on. The extinction of species is not a distant past phenomenon, it's happening right here, right now, in our time. To illustrate, let's talk about the Pinta Island tortoise. This species was native to the Galapagos Islands, a place renowned for its unique and diverse wildlife. 
The last known Pinta Island tortoise, a male named Lonesome George, passed away in 2012. With his death, his species joined the tragic list of the extinct. What led to this? Primarily it was human activities. Introduced species such as goats ravaged the vegetation on the island, leaving the tortoises without food. Efforts were made to save Lonesome George's lineage but unfortunately, they were not successful. Then there's the Christmas Island Pipistrelle, a small bat native to Christmas Island. This creature too met its end in recent years. Its population began to decline in the late 90s and the last individual was heard in 2009. Despite exhaustive searches, no more have been found since then. The cause of the Christmas Island Pipistrelle's extinction isn't as clear-cut. It's believed to be a combination of factors including habitat loss, predation by invasive species, and a mysterious disease. It's a stark reminder that often, it's not just one thing that leads to a species' downfall, but a deadly cocktail of threats. The effects of these extinctions are profound. Each species plays a unique role in its ecosystem. When a species is lost, it can have a ripple effect, disrupting the balance of the environment. This, in turn, can have impacts on other species, potentially leading to further extinctions. These recent extinctions underline the urgency of the situation. They serve as a wake-up call for us all. The loss of biodiversity is not just about the loss of individual species, but the loss of the intricate web of life that sustains us all. We must act now, before it's too late. Looking back at these losses it's clear that we've reached a critical juncture. The tapestry of life, woven over millions of years, has been unraveled by the very hands that were meant to cherish it. Each extinction we've discussed, is not just the loss of a species, but the disappearance of a unique story of evolution, a piece of the grand puzzle that is life on Earth. Human activity has played a significant role in these losses. We've altered landscapes, polluted habitats and hunted species to the brink of extinction. The swift pace of our development has not always been mindful of the delicate balance of nature. It's a sobering reality, but it's one we must confront if we are to make amends. We live in a world where the ripple effects of our actions can be felt across continents and through generations. Each decision we make, each resource we consume, has an impact. It's a daunting truth but it's also a call to action. We have the power to protect and preserve, to nurture and restore. The importance of conservation efforts cannot be overstated. From the local initiative safeguarding a single species to the global movements fighting climate change, every effort matters. Each one of us can make a difference, whether it's by supporting these initiatives, living sustainably, or simply spreading awareness. In the face of extinction, complacency is not an option. We must take responsibility for our actions and their consequences. We need to be mindful of our footprint, considerate of our co-inhabitants, and respectful of the intricate web of life that we are a part of. The losses we've discussed are a stark reminder of the consequences of neglecting our responsibility. However, they also serve as a rallying cry. They remind us of the urgency of our task, the importance of our role, and the profound impact we can have. The fate of our planet's biodiversity rests in our hands. So, what have we learned from this journey through the 21st century? Our odyssey through time has introduced us to a myriad of creatures that once graced our planet with their presence. From the earliest losses at the dawn of the century to the recent ones that still sting, we've seen an array of species blink out from existence. We've met the Pinta Island tortoise, the Baiji dolphin, the western black rhinoceros, and many others, each with their unique tales of existence and extinction. We've delved into the causes of these losses grappling with the harsh reality of habitat destruction, climate change and over-exploitation. The ripple effects of these extinctions have been profound, altering ecosystems and affecting other species in ways we're still striving to understand. But amidst the gloom, we've also glimpsed rays of hope. We've seen the power of conservation efforts that have pulled species back from the brink, a testament to our potential to mitigate the damage if we act with foresight and determination. Our journey has underscored the immense value of biodiversity, not just for the well-being of our planet, but for our own survival. In summing up, we've borne witness to a dramatic chapter in our planet's history, one that's been marked by loss, but also by resilience, and a burgeoning awareness of our role as stewards of the Earth. Let's remember the animals we've lost, learn from our mistakes, and strive to protect the biodiversity that remains.